God created man in his own image. So how does man realize what his true nature is? How does he realize that it's God himself that has taken his form? And to do that, ancient Indians had devised a strategy, a route to be taken by a normal human being. A normal human birth was considered the birth of a Pashu, an animal. He lives, eats and does the daily activities that any animal would do. And he ends his monotonous life. Then, when somebody born like that displays sufficient courage to break the bonds, then he would be pulled into this special path, this path called the Adi Marga. Anybody who follows this path becomes the Adi Yogi. He becomes one with the Absolute. So, to follow this path, what are the eight bondages that you might break? That is what we'll be discussing. And what does it take? It takes a lot of courage. Those who are courageous will follow this path and those who wish to follow this path should also have had committed various kinds of merits in their previous lives. And this is what exactly Shiva says. But this has been kept as a lateral path, not practiced in the open and not spoken with the public. Why was that so? Because of the social circumstances, it was designated to be so. But today we have reached a time and an age, a culture, where this has become an essential understanding for everybody. And they can choose, even though these paths which are gems that somebody would find, rarely find, come across in their life, only those with the courage to pick it up will be able to venture out into that. And that's why for this time it is said to be practiced and open and disclosed to everybody. And that's why I am here. More, more on this in the coming videos.